I'm Seng Ren. I'm 23, going on 24. I'm currently studying architecture in NUS. I studied in Learning Lab since I was primary 1 or 2, all the way till primary 6. So my entire primary school education. Yeah, very fondly. <laughs> um, Miss Leslie Chan, and she was very patient. She was, she taught us not to, not just about English, the English language per se, but more about um, general knowledge, things that happen around the world, around her life. She would share like her personal stories. So it was, it made class feel not so much like class, you know. I think she was very into drawing or like just making comics or cartoons. So on every single English assignment that I handed up or she passed back to me, there, were all, there was always this like cartoon that she drew next to it and then giving her comments afterwards. I was always very interested in um, visual art and making my own art and craft. Seeing her draw and seeing her sketch very well. Um, and then moving on to secondary school and JC where I pursued art in my formal education. It sort of like pushed me towards architecture as a, as a university career. I think I've always been naturally empathetic. That's one of the traits I have. Um, personally, like I feel very strongly towards um, like my ex-secondary school buildings, the school compounds and all. And when I think about it, it's just those special architectural features. Like I was from SCGS, um, the nice Peranakan towels, you know, those simple things that define the space around you. It affects your memory towards it. And it also brings people together because there's this shared memory of like, oh, this is my school, like this is my school compound and it's special in that way. So I think community plays a large part in architecture and so, like vice versa as well. I think my experience in learning lab taught me that um, not to narrow myself to just look at one subject as it is, you know. It is just a mixture of past experiences, knowledge, and like the world is so much bigger than we put it out to be. Architecture is not just about building a, a singular building. You need to know a lot of things. Um, geography, science, arts. It's a combination of all these aspects. Learning for learning sake is a big factor in motivating me or motivating people to study, to do well. While I was choosing um, which university degree or which university I wanted to be in, I thought to myself like in 30 years down the road or let's say 50 years down the road, um, would I still be happy going to work? From the adults around me right now, I feel like it's just working for work's sake. So it's also about pursuing your passion. Yeah, it's more of like just taking baby steps towards what you think would make you happy. If you're like me and you like uh, everything, you know, you like geography, you like studying people around you, you like drawing, architecture is a very broad spectrum of things that you can pursue, <laughs> you know? Um, it's fun. <laughs>